Looks like Christmas came early to my daycare because I just dropped a thousand dollars on new daycare toys and other items for my daycare. Hey guys, Sarah here and on our channel Work Life Glue we like to share how we glue work and life together one piece at a time. I am a child care provider in our home so I do do daycare videos from time to time but this video could also be helpful if you have children under the age of five because Christmas is coming up, they have birthdays, maybe you wanna add more learning toys or open-ended toys to your home. This is the video for you because I just dropped a lot of money and stuff for my daycare and I have been doing daycare for about four years now. Is that right? And been a nanny for two years, I'm a mom, I am a former teacher and so I love all things learning and toys and I've really been on a mission to take out a lot of the more plasticky toys to some extent and you know the ones that make noise and I want more open-ended and wooden and learning kind of toys not like the VTech stuff that lights up and tells you things but ones that are actually learning through play and so I am going to be doing a whole toy rotation in my daycare coming up soon I'll have a whole video on that once it's done so all these toys will not be accessible all the time that just makes for them to not know what to do and they just jump from thing to thing I really want them to play deeply and so I have a whole bunch of stuff that I bought. I recently applied for a grant in September and I just got the letter November 1st saying that I was approved and so I just spent all the money and I get reimbursed. Now a lot of people over the years have asked me how to get grants. Honestly, I can't answer that for you. I know how to get a grant in my county, but I don't even know how to get a grant just in Minnesota because it really depends, at least in our state, on your county. There's exact steps and applications you have to follow. So I would reach out to your licensor if you have one or if you have a child care resource and referral or some other agency or company that you can reach out to to find out that information for your specific area. I really can't help you there because it just really depends on where you live. The state of Minnesota allocated a lot of money for child care providers to help improve their program and so I got approved because I wanted to have more open-ended toys and learning toys and stuff like that. So let's just jump into what I got and I'll have links to everything in the description. Okay, I'm just gonna start with the things that aren't actually toys but are helpful. Um, so I got this, I haven't put it together yet, but it's just a clothes hanger, like a coat rack because I don't have a good system. I haven't figured out a good system for hanging um, play clothes, like dress up clothes because if I, I've had like racks on the wall and they've gotten ripped down by toddlers and kids like pulling on them. So I'm a little afraid they're going to like take all the clothes off and whack each other with this. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to try it. Worst comes to worst, I'll put it in my older daughter's room and she can hang her bags on that or something. But I got that. I wanted a better system in my preschool area for all of our, you know, craft supplies, scissors, pencils, markers, that kind of stuff. So I really like this caddy because it can be out of reach and I can just grab one little container off of it and bring that to the table instead of having to bring the whole thing. And I just think it's really pretty and just a really good use of space. I also got an over the door like gift wrap station thing because you know I give a lot of gifts to the daycare and we do things with them from time to time. I just don't have a good system right now. It's all under our bed. So I thought I would try an over the door one. So I included that in my grant. Okay, so for toys, let's start with the stuff I got for more of the littler kids, like the toddlers. I have one of these, I think they're called Mr. Buckle, and they fight over it all the time, so I thought I'd get another one. They're not cheap, they're like $20 for this thing, but they've lasted a few years since I got my last grant and bought one, and I just love them because there's different kinds of buckles. They're having to match the colors, they're having to try to buckle, they have to try to unbuckle. Usually, you know, one and two year olds have a hard time unbuckling, but it's helping them learn. It also has a zipper, they can learn how to zip, and it's got, you know, fish and stuff inside. It's like a little surprise. And then it also has numbers and little pictures on the back. So I highly recommend this for toddlers, especially like in the car or in your diaper bag to keep them entertained for a while. I also got this like fine motor hedgehog or porcupine, I guess. Um, and it's just got these little different colored pegs and you stick them in. So it's definitely like a really good fine motor thing. It's got numbers on it so you can count while you're doing it and it also, they're all different colors so you can, 
you know add color recognition into it as well and all the quills can come out um, it said how does that work oh there we go so they just fit in the bottom if you want to store it that way but I don't mind storing them just in the back and this is another great one for like one and two year olds I have never had one of these bead mazes before but kids love them I remember playing with them a lot so I got this little one it's suction cups it's Melissa and Doug We'll try it out, you know, and see how it goes. If the toddlers really like it, I might invest in like a bigger one that goes on the floor. But, um, you know, we'll just see what they think of it. Also for the toddlers, I got some wooden puzzles. Now these are better for like ages two and up. I know my daughter, older daughter could do like a 16 to 24 piece puzzle at two and a half, which, you know, some kids that's right on point. Some kids that's pretty advanced. It just depends on, you know, where they're at. So these have... 12 pieces and they're wooden so I would just if I was gonna have a toddler do this I would take out the puzzle because it's divided into four and give them that instead of just dumping out all four puzzles for them because that's just gonna be chaos and a mess for you to clean up but these are great and they're sturdier so that you know if they put them in their mouth or they're banging on them they're probably not gonna break because they're wooden and they're pretty you know once they figured it out it's not too challenging but challenging enough for those kids who are just starting to do puzzles beyond like the chunky shape puzzle. Also for toddlers, I have gone through so many octagon play pens in my day, but I bought one of these last year and I really love it. It's, I think the other brand are green ones and they're summer infant, I believe is the brand, but I really like these regalo ones, regalo, regalo, because um, instead of having to pull up each strap on it you just push two different bars down so it's a lot easier to set up and it doesn't rip as easily as I found as the other ones I sometimes use this for putting toddlers in like when I'm making lunch if they can't you know stop climbing on everything or if we're doing a craft with really little pieces I will put some special toys in here for them but what I'm going to start doing also is putting like the stuff that the bigger kids really want to do in here and put two big kids in here like three four five year olds and let them do it in here and so the toddlers can still roam so they don't feel like they're being left out so like magnet tiles so that the little ones don't knock it down or you know if they're building with blocks or something I'll put that in the octagon playpen and then the little ones um, can still roam around and it's a good size so it's you know they're not so cramped some other table activities I got this more centered towards boys it but it's careers so it's a little magnet doll boy with you know different kinds of clothing for different like careers or you know there's pirate police officer firefighter um you know knight stuff like that because I have a couple girl ones and I wanted to make sure the boys have something to play with as well my girls really love dressing up things and stuff like that so I got this um it's kind of like a dress up doll but it's a magnet doll it's got four different scenes and you can just put it on the tin here and then the doll will stick to it unfortunately I let my four-year-old help me take this out and it ripped but you know it's not the end of the world so it sticks and then you can put the different like accessories and stuff on there and give her different hair and outfits and all kinds of stuff so they already are really loving that and I really love that it's nicely contained in this tin box and then I also got this fun one with different animals and different accessories and stuff you can put on it so there's three different backgrounds and they just stick which is really cool and then there are all kinds of different things you can put on the animals to change out and it's pretty silly and all the different kids love it this is more towards like three four five year olds um but yeah they really really like that it's just cute and this also is nicely contained when you're done just shut it and then you put the strap around it and it's not all falling out this is another great one for toddlers and all kids. Um, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. So it's got these, whoops. So it's got these little cars and you just stick it on the ramp. And it goes down no matter, you know, it's good for toddlers because they don't have to put it a certain way. It just flips each time it goes down. And there's four different ones, different colors that match each of the ramps. Um, and I don't know, kids just love these things, so. A really fun gift for pretty much all ages this I originally bought for the toddlers but now I've learned it's 
way too hard for them. It's a shape sorter, but it's like a shape sorter on steroids. My four-year-old loves this. So it's got more intricate shapes on top, like a cat, a truck, a tree, like a baby carriage, that kind of thing. And it's got the really, you know, generic shapes on the side. And so you put the different shapes in. Let me find one. So there's two for each color. So you'd put the heart in and you'd put the little baby carriage thing in. And then you can't get it out without opening it with a key. So you have to put the key in and push and turn and then you can get them out. So it's a really, really cool thing. Um, it's definitely next level compared to the regular shape sorters. So I would recommend this for like three, four, five year olds, but it is really cool. And I love the whole key aspect. Once they get it, it's a lot easier, but I have like a three year old who's getting so mad and not able to turn the keys. But it's, so that's a great fine motor, shape, color, recognition. Really cool toy, I really like it. For a large motor, I got this teeter popper thing so they can sit they can stand on it goes back and forth you know if you're on a hard floor it will suction cup and they can pop it off you could turn it this way and they could walk over it um it says it's for ages three and up but my toddler was already playing on it and liking it so it's good for minnesota winters or somewhere where you can't always get outside as much as you want i haven't had a really good doctor kit i liked so i wanted something pretty simple that's easy to contain um, that didn't have a lot of bells and whistles, didn't make noise, and I found this Fisher Price one. It came in this little bag, and it's just very simple. So, like the blood pressure, you know, it just literally uses the air to work. The thermometer, you just push a button and it turns. You know, it's got the little looking thing, a band aid, a shot. And then a stethoscope so it's nothing too fancy not too many pieces that'll get lost um, but you know just the perfect size okay so some of our bigger ticket items I have been wanting something I have doll houses which the boys do play with but you know the girls tend to gravitate toward them more so I really wanted something for the boys kind of like that so I got this parking garage I just put it together yesterday it came with some cars and it's got different levels that they can drive up and down which is really cool and it also has this elevator so you um, twist this and it winds around and it pulls the elevator up so they can go up and down it's got some little gas pumps and stuff like that so I think the boys will really like this I'm hoping they won't wreck it since it's wooden but we shall see and to go along with that I have train tracks which are okay but I find especially the three-year-olds getting really frustrated with them sometimes they're hard to put together sometimes it's hard to get the train on the track and it doesn't go the way you want but my kids all really like cars so I think I'm gonna get rid of the train tracks and we're switching out to these roads so they're interlocking wooden roads and they're very easy to put together they're not very thick and the, the interlocking pieces are very big so it's easier for little fingers to do and there's all kinds of different ones there's ones with crosswalks there's curvy ones I love it and then to go along with that I also got a little roadway set with you know buses and police cars and ambulances you name it and then also comes with these cute little people wooden people and a bunch of different stoplights and signs and it's got like construction barrels and that kind of thing a little mailbox which is cute so um i think they'll really really love this and i'm excited to get rid of the trains and them being so frustrated over them all the time my number one toy i would recommend to any parent of little kids or even older kids are magnetic tiles i'm not going to say magnet tiles because i don't own i mean i own some of the magnet tiles brand but um, they can get pretty spendy. So I've actually bought two different brands, one from Play Mags that I can't find anymore. And then I just recently got another set of 100 with my grant money from Shape Mags. And I think it was $50 for 100 And so it comes with, you know, all these different pieces. If you're not familiar, they're just like little tiles that are magnetic. So they can build all kinds of different structures, different shapes and sizes. 
Um, there's some bigger ones. These actually came with my play mags. This set came with a giant one, which is really awesome for making like a big castle or house or whatever they want to build. And it also came with a, you know, car platform, which the other one did too. So I have two of them now. And these are the kids' favorite toy by far. And so I'm glad now that I have a lot more so all the kids can play at once and there's enough um, and they hopefully won't fight quite as much. And this set also came with these which are kind of cool. There's just little things you can add on like different pictures and letters and shapes and um, different things which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know how much the kids will play with them but we'll see. You know it's fun to add in once in a while. So very cool. Very happy with them and you know sometimes the kids have stepped on them and walked on them and they've been okay. So I'm really happy with those. I forgot about this one. So I got a few different wooden, more expensive, higher quality wooden like stacker toys and things like that because I want them to last and I just think they're better quality, they're prettier and they should last longer. So I got this wooden one. It was not cheap but since I had the grant money I wanted to go ahead and get it. There are two more that I'm waiting to arrive, but they're gonna take quite a while, so I wanted to get this video out before then. So one is the the Grimm's Large Water Wave Stacker. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's different shades of blue in like a wave pattern, and I've done a lot of like watching of Montessori inspired playrooms and classrooms, and I just love these because the kids can play with them in any way. It can be a mountain, it could be a hill, it could be a sled, it could be you know, an ocean. They can pretend it's anything and just incorporate it to any kind of play. It could be a phone. And they're just super beautiful and just beckon the kids to come play with them. And then I've gone through so many like stacking and nesting blocks and bowls and they've all broken and driven me crazy. I've had wooden ones that were squares and they ended up breaking at the connection points. And I've had paper ones that were squares that they ripped to shreds. So I'm getting this circular set of nesting bowls that you can flip them over and they can stack. So that should be coming too. It's rainbow colors, really pretty. Just really want stuff that's going to hold up. Like there should be no reason why stuff like this should be breaking. You know, whereas plastic ones or different kinds of materials can break a lot easier. Sitting behind me in this box, I have not put it together yet. But I got the kids a market for our dramatic playroom which is in my basement so they love to play like cashier and stuff but I haven't had like a good spot to put a cash register so I bought a marketplace from KidCraft and that way we can put the cash register on it we can put some different food or items in it depending on how I have it set up and they can you know play there they could also turn into like a puppet show or whatever it's just got lots of uses that I think they'll really enjoy one other thing this was all from Amazon I did get one thing that's still in the mail getting shipped from Lakeshore which is I had to spend 10% of my money on multicultural items so right now the kids play with like little people and Duplo people but I am switching that out I'm gonna include put those with my Duplo blocks that we play with once to twice a week in my dining room and I'm gonna just have out for the kid these vinyl families of different ethnicities so I think there's there's a Hispanic family Caucasian family African American family Native American family and an Asian family and so they have like the moms the dads the grandparents the kids the baby and I love it because they can make it look like their family especially like our family is a blended family we have my husband's Asian, I'm Caucasian, and our kids are mixed, so it can be fun to kind of mix and match, and the kids are seeing, you know, the different ethnicities in their play um, when they're playing with people, and they love playing with people, and that can be integrated into a lot of these toys as well, so I'm excited for that to come. And then another $100 was spent on a rug for my basement. So I right now have black mats down there, but we have a real problem with Echo because we don't have a lot of soft surfaces in there. And so I wanted to get a big rug. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. It'll be softer on the kids' toes, feel better, be warmer, and um, hopefully will help reduce the echo. So it's a big gray rug. You'll see it soon once I show you guys the whole you know toy rotation video. So I hope this gave you a bunch of ideas of things to incorporate into your own daycare or to give to your own children or children you know. These are all really great ideas and I'm super excited to show the kids all of them over time. I don't want to bombard them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.